Good Friday morning. Thank you so much for joining me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm Coach Ingrid Hughes, the CEO and founder of Team Light Changers, where we change lives every single day, starting with our own. You all know I come to you every Friday morning that the Lord allows between 7 a.m. and 7.15 a.m. Eastern Time with a little series I like to call What I Learned This Week. And what I learned this week is you may need to try a different key. Many of us give up on our goals at the first roadblock or sign of discomfort. We're quick to decide, oh, it's just not meant to be, or this is just too hard, or we grant ourselves permission to quit because, well, I'm traveling for work and I can't commit, or uh, my kids' schedules are just too hectic right now, so I can't focus on anything for me, or, well, you already know your own excuses, so you don't need me to outline them, right? <laughs> so, but what if, just what if, you just need to try a different key to unlock that proverbial door you're trying to open? This is definitely true in our entrepreneurship, in our teampreneurship, and also in our wellness journeys. What is the perfect key to unlock one person's lock may not fit the lock for you. So if you have a goal, it kind of needs to have a deep, meaningful reason why and purpose connected to it. Otherwise, when the struggles happen, and they will, you'll quickly decide it's just too hard or not meant to be. This is exactly why I interview prospective clients and prospective business partners, and I make them dig a little deeper than just wanting to get into a bikini or just wanting to help people. Because I already know that neither of those reasons will stand up when things get hard. <laughs> because I know that firsthand. Having that strong purpose will, though, give us that perseverance needed to keep trying different keys until that proverbial door unlocks. For example, when I just wanted to lose weight to fit into a bikini, I constantly quit because I wasn't connected to a purpose that I felt from the bottom of my heart. But when my dad asked me to get healthier and so I could live and not just exist like he was doing, when he asked me that from his deathbed, I had to honor uh, my dad's dying request because I'm a daddy's girl and that was my dad. <laughs> Because I felt that connection deep, deep into my heart. Likewise, in my teampreneurship, y'all do know that that's what I call entrepreneurship, right? Okay, good. So likewise, in my teampreneurship, when my purpose was just because I like to help people, I didn't show up with any kind of consistency. It wasn't until my friend called me um, after, right after her doctor's appointment where she no longer was borderline diabetic and she escaped being put on medications because of we us working together to help her in her health and wellness journey, that I realized that this is not a hobby, but a responsibility because people need what I have to offer. And it wasn't until a business partner lost her job and as a single mother lost her sole income source, shared how being a teampreneur business partner and being, being in control of how much or how little she earns, how often she gets promoted, and it's all based upon how often she decides to positively impact people, even though she was told there were no income guarantees, no, and everything was based on her efforts and skill, that I realized that my it's my responsibility to share this opportunity daily, even though I'm shy. Because those blessings truly hit me deep within my soul, and they align with the direction that God is leading me. So here's this week's call to action. Create a list of 10 to 20 different things you could do that may work toward your goal. Those are your keys. Then start making your way down that list to see if any or a combination of them can get you closer to unlocking your door to success. Now, if not, make a new list and then repeat. We don't reach our goals overnight, but we do reach them eventually as long as we keep trying. Listen, I only have two more spots remaining in this month's business mentorship that starts on Monday. So if you're coachable, if you're looking for another income source before the holidays that pays weekly, and you have a blessed to be a blessing mindset, you're willing to do the work knowing that I am not guaranteeing you any level of success or income, and that this is not a get rich quick situation, you would like to learn more about partnering with me, comment, I'm interested below, or um 
private message me. God loves you and so do I. Have a blessed and healthy day, week, and rest of this month. And happy Veterans Day to all of the veterans. I'm grateful for your service. See ya.